Let's talk about rebuilding spiral roller shafts. Um, basically, everyone's going to have to do it at some point. It is a wearing item, depending on the environment. Rolls will get worn out sooner or later. Um, and it's how we get to service the shaft itself. So the shaft's been removed from the machine. Its basic components are a square shaft. We've got a steel washer around each end and a circlip sat in its groove holding that washer on. But in actual fact, it's holding it under compression. So when we manufacture the spiral roller itself, they're actually slightly too long. Um, so the idea is when we assemble the shaft for a start, we have to then compress one end disc against the spiral rollers, compress them slightly before we put the circlip on. So that's all been done in the manufacturing process. Uh, and now we're here looking to rebuild the shaft itself. So I'll show you how we go about that. Uh, and to make it easy, we've produced uh, a special tool, works quite well. And the idea is that of this tool is, it's got a threaded bar, it's got a barrel nut on there to help wind it through. And we push that against the, the end disc. The end of the thread screws into the female thread on the end of the shaft. So every shaft on every evolution is threaded in the end. So you can always screw it in, doesn't matter which end, whether it's the drive end or the idle end. So we'll screw that in there loosely, just so it's got enough threads to bite. Make sure that's equal distance either side of the shaft. 19mm spanner onto the barrel nut. And then we're just going to screw that up and that's very quickly going to compress that shaft to take the stress off the circlip itself. We need to take the circlip fully off. So we'll slip the circlip plies over the circlip, pull it all the way back. So it's now off the shoulder and loose on the end of the bearing fit part of the shaft. And really it's just as simple as pop the spanner back on the barrel nut, unload that tension that we've already put on and that allows the end disc to slide up the shaft, take all the pressure away. So we take the shaft, take the tool away from the shaft and screw it out the end of the shaft there. And now we can dismantle it. So circlip comes straight off. Try not to stress those, try not to overbend them. If you do, always put a new one on. End disc, as you can see, it's quite an unusual shape center, half round, half square. So the idea is it can slide up the shaft and it won't rotate. So we'll pop that off. And then we expose the end of the spiral. So as you can see, the those spirals have now sprung out past the end of the circlip. So what we would do is take the spirals off in turn. If you're not quite sure which way you want to go back on, take a picture of it, nice and easy. Actually write shaft number one on the cardboard next to it. Just lay it all out in sequence. Lots of ways to remember what you're doing before you take it apart. So, and sometimes they're in parts for a few days, which is really important to take a few photos. Highly recommend it. So, we just replace the spirals as see fit. We try to do a whole shaft at a time, especially if they're worn down, just so everything's quite even on the shaft. Um, one thing to think about as well is the orientation of the spiral itself. As you can see, on the end, this one's at a different orientation to the one next to it. And basically what we say is the spirals, the, the end spiral down the side of each machine should always auger inwardly. And when I say auger, we're saying when it's turning in its proper direction, that it's screwing the crop away from the side. So if this is my side panel down the side here and I'm turning, as you can see, it wants to push debris away. Very important that. If we've got stones or anything sat around in the end of the machine, down the side of the machine, we don't want that to be screwing outwardly and getting wedged. We want to screw it away back into the flower crop and down the table or get uh, extracted. I won't go too deeply into which way everything goes around because it'll be specific to your own machine, but just remember how they come apart and which end goes where. So just to pop this back together, simple as, you can get it wrong. The ribs should line up. If you half a turn out, you get that effect. 
and that's not really what we want. You should then be able to turn these at whatever point and get everything to line up spot on. So they're all now loose on the shaft. We want to put it back together. Reverse procedure, end disc first. We're going to put the circlip on loose for the moment because it doesn't need to do any more than that. Back with a tool, the tool screws into that female thread. As I say, we don't have to screw it in for miles. So we don't want it to pop out either. So we'll just go with four or five threads in there. Make sure it's evenly either side. So you've got a space either side for your circlip to go up. And then basically, as you can see, you can get a little bit of the way by hand, but ultimately to get that full pressure on, do it with the ring end this time because it stays on better. Wind that round, give it a moment. We should then come past the circlet groove. You can see there's quite a bit of compression just to get us there. And now we've exposed it, so we're all good. You can see why we cut the piece out of the tool now so we can get the circlet plies in. Circlet pliers go straight onto the circlet, try not to overstretch it. Slide that up, you can always just tap the last bit on with the circlet pliers. There we go, sat nicely in there. And then it's just a case of wind that one off, take the tool out, and uh, we're good to go. There obviously another, there is another video out there to show you how we get these shafts out, which we'll be able to see online as well. But for the moment, there we go. Really quite simple. You can actually make that tool yourself if you need to. Piece of box section with some bits trimmed away. Drill a hole through the centre and a length of 12mm threaded bar. But we do do them. We only really charge what it costs us to make them, just to help people out. Uh, and that is replacing the spirals on your spiral roller shaft. Thank you.